Today we're going to show you how to install a door reinforcement kit. This will reinforce every weak point on that door to prevent a force entry. I'm Robert with Acme Locksmith and you're watching Locksmith Recommended. So this is a kit that we bought online. I'll include a link to the product below. But if you remember from our video on how to reinforce a door, this one product comes with nearly everything you're going to need to reinforce that door. It has with it a big elongated almost four foot long strike to distribute the force in the frame so the frame doesn't split. It also comes with uh, a small door wrap to protect the uh, bolts and the latches from splitting the door should somebody try to kick it in. And it also comes with some hinge guards to protect the hinge side of the door from being damaged. So it's a great product. We're gonna show you how to install it. About the only prep you need to do before installing this kit is to make sure that the gap between your door and your frame is wide enough so that the elongated strike and the door wrap will fit together. If you take a look at this, they're about the width of two quarters side by side if you have them back to back. So you just wanna make sure that you have that much space in here so that when they're both installed, the door can close smoothly. Now, if you remember from our video on reinforcing a door, one of the least expensive things you can do is put in three inch screws in all of the screw holes. Most of your doors come with these little half inch to five eighth inch screws. Throw those away, get these three inch screws in there. These come with this kit, so you don't need to buy them separately. Do want to draw your attention to one thing. This particular kit here came with a squared and not a Phillips head. So you do have to need a special bit in order to use this one. But if you don't have that, just get yourself a package of three and a half inch screws and you'll be good to go. The first piece I'm going to install is the very long strike that goes on the frame side of the door. Now this strike comes complete with knockouts that you take out to make way for the latches on the door so that they'll go into the frame. There's no special chiseling or anything involved with this. It'll basically just install above everything that's already on the door. You don't even have to take what's there out. Just make sure you line up those knockout plates so that the latches can go through the strike once it's installed. So let's get started with this piece. After I get a few of the screws in, I like to test just to make sure that the door will close. Everything's looking good so I can continue. Once I've got it all screwed in, I can now knock out these little knock plates that I have. Which of course again is where the bolts go into the door. So with the little plates knocked out, I can test the door, make sure everything's latching good, throwing good. So I'm all set there, and now I can move on to the little door wraps. These little door wraps are real easy to install as well. You basically just put them above your existing uh, plate, and then you can just drill two holes right in, and they go right on. There you are, simple as that. I'll get the other one done now as well. So here is the strike plate installed with the cutout. Also down here with the cutout for the bottom latch. My locks were installed quite a ways apart. And then of course, both of these are installed onto the door now. And I just verify proper operation. Door closes, everything locks. We are good to go. And now I'm ready to install the hinge guards. Okay. So here's the hinge of my door. Now this is the only part of this whole installation that's just a little bit tricky. What we're gonna do is we're gonna remove these two center screws and then this hinge guard has two basically slots that are gonna line up to that. Now I should note that I had actually put in some larger screws in this already. So this first screw that I'm pulling out, there's your standard size screw holding in your door. The second screw that I'm pulling out is one that I put in when I moved in. 
I've got two of these in every hinge already. I'm not gonna reuse that. I'm gonna use the ones that came with the kit because they have a nice pretty white head on them so they'll match real nice. So one of the things I haven't been doing uh, in particular when I'm putting in these screws is I didn't pre-drill any pilot holes. I am having a little bit of trouble with this one getting it in without stripping the head. So you can always pre-drill those holes so that the new screw will go right in and I recommend doing it. I tried to get fancy and skip a step. It didn't work out. Goes in much nicer after you pre-drill. All right, now that hinge protector is all done. Let me give you a better look at it here. There you go, all on, and now all I have left to do is the bottom one. All right, so that's it for the door. There are the hinge guards installed, and the bottom one, which I also put on. Latch guard is installed. Door edge protectors are installed. Door closes, latches, and everything's taken care of. All right, so I'm done with the installation. That complete installation took me about 15 minutes out in the hot Arizona sun. I don't recommend you do this when the sun is beating on the door like it was on this one. Whew, it's hot. But 15 minutes, start to finish, entirely done. If you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel. There'll be many more to come. Thanks for watching, Locksmith Recommended.